Hi guys! So for today's craft with me video, I decided to try to make my own uh, specimen slides but without using a die cut machine, nothing like that. Just kind of coming up with something that will still look cute and looks like a specimen card. So um, I came up with this. These I just cut and they're just um, cardstock. And I cut them three by three, and I just thought that that was a really good size. And so this is what I come up with. This is my first one, and it's fine, but I just kind of, you know, your first one always comes out a little bit rough. And then you start evolving into different ideas. And so that's how this was. So I made this one first. I liked the idea. Then I came up with this one and liked it more. And then I came up with these. And these are what we're going to be making today. So I just thought that they were fun. More Tim Holtzy style. You don't have to try to cut anything out. And all you need are just a few tools. So let me tell you. This is just regular cardstock. Again, I cut it three by three squares. You are going to need some type of hole punch. And so I'm just using my little one. Um... I am going to be corner rounding a couple things. I will be using for the center some of my Tim Holtz um, photo booth pictures. So we'll be using those. I do have my eyelets that we're going to be using again with a crocodile. Um, I'm going to be inking, distressing using my what is this called the field notes stamp set from tim holtz and what i'm using for the center to kind of give it that specimen card look let me do this is these film strips i don't know if you remember but i had hauled these from amazon and i tried to see if i can link them um, I haven't checked again, but when I first hauled them, they right away went out of stock. So I don't know if you guys bought them out or what it was, but these are just little uh, film strips that I ordered and it came with a bunch of fun stuff. So it came with this little specimen slide kind of photo slide and it came with these fun things. It came with a lot of stuff. And so I'm using these, and these are actual stickers. So this is gonna be really kind of cool to work with. So look, it's got a, these are stickers. So I'm gonna be using these, and let's see what else. You're gonna need your block. Um, I'm using some different little snippets. So I have my field note snippets out, my ephemera regular snippets. The curator snippets, um, the Tim Holtz pack of labels, and the number strips along with some little strippies that I bought from Timu, and my glue. I think that's it. So that's everything, so let's get started. So get your stash out of all your scraps, and... I want to see if I can do a black one this time just to kind of see what it, it'll look like. So I won't be able, but I won't be able, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I can do this. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just on the top, now you kind of eyeball, I'm not really measuring, and so I'm going to eyeball where I want the top notches. So for me, what I'm doing is I'm just lining up my the corner edge of my square with my um, hole punch and then I'm just going to cut a half a circle okay and I'm going to do that for both sides again lining it up and doing a half circle okay and then we're going to do that on the sides here on the bottom and then we're going to do it this way on the bottom so again we're just eyeballing it but at the same time trying to have some type of 
measurement. So I'm doing it on both sides, evening it out on the side of my hole punch. And there. Now with your crocodile, this is, I'm just doing this first because I wanna make sure that I have everything in the same spot. And so again, just eyeballing where I want it. I kind of have it some somewhat of a measurement. So there's that. And then we're going to be doing the top, putting a little hole on the top. So let's do it this way. Because I have it measured at the end of this. So have that one. And then this one. So I have it measured with this little um, lever thing. And so this is how I'm able to measure it and have it somewhat centered my little, or it's, you know, kind of in the same spot in the corner. So this is what it's gonna look like. Let's put, uh, let's put the dull silver little eyelets. I guess you could use brads too if you wanted. That might look cute too. Let's do this one first. And then I'm just doing all the four corners so like that I can see exactly where I need to decorate. Sometimes you need something like this that, you know, you don't want to have to bother with your um, your cutting, your die cut machine or something. And then, you know, sometimes you want a certain size. So I just thought that this might be fun to play with and see. Let me see. Does this fit? Ah, we'll just stick with this. So we'll put these down. Some of these do have like little images, but it's fine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure it where I want it, cut it down, and then just overlap it and see if we can get it to the same size. This might be a little off. I feel like it's not very straight. So let's try to straighten that out. Okay, hopefully that worked. Otherwise we could fix it. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to get this and I'm gonna try to look for them again and see if I can find them on Amazon. But I think if you search up, oh, it's this way. So I'm having these two. This is going to be the, the bottom. So I'm just going to put this down. No, I have to see it. I can't, I can't see it that way. So let's put it here. And then put this one. I'm trying to get them closer to... Oh, come on. There it is. I'm trying to center it in between the eyelets, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I have as much like the biggest square possible. Oh, okay, that evened out really good. Okay, so here you have it. We have it kind of making a square, overlapping them in the middle, which is fine. Then we're just gonna pick, should we do her? That might be pretty. I do have to cut her down though, because I like for it to be, see, otherwise it will look like this, which is still fine, but she's kind of coming out of that little square. And so I like the way these look where they're cut down a lot more and they're centered into the little film square. 
So let's see if we can make this happen. I'm just going to cut off the edges here. So still not sure how I'm going to name this, but by the time you guys watch it, you'll know. But I'm working on what to name it <laughs> because I'm thinking, you know, I was going to name it faux slides, but it's already faux because they're not real slides. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, then what? Mm, let's see. I might have to cut a little bit more from the bottom. I don't want to have to cut down her neck too much, but looks like that's what's going to happen. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to get my corner rounder and do the smallest corner. So let me open. I'm using the walnut stain. And then I also have my uh, archival ink in jet black. And that's just to stamp around, but we're not gonna be able to stamp this one. It, well, actually just on it, but we, all, we are gonna try to see if we can put like a stamped label or something. That looks good. Let's go ahead and glue that down. Come on, is it coming out? There it is. You have a little bit more wiggle room with this because you're putting it on that plastic film. There you go. Cute, right? Hopefully there's not too much of a glare. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is let's look for, should we do it in red? I think red might look cool. Oh, perfect. Or should we stick with black and white? Let me see. Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're gonna stick with black and white. So let's go ahead and just cover this up. But I think I am going to grunge the inside of it too because I don't want it to be too white. So let's just, I just have a little bit of ink left on my sponge dauber. So I folded that a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. So let's put this over and yep yeah okay so let's get let's get something should i put corresponding order or should i put just a number i really like this long number here yeah that'll fit perfect so let's go ahead and stamp this first. I'm getting out my archival ink. And then getting a really good stamp on that one. Perfect. Okay, looks good. So what we're going to do is just trying to keep my workspace clean. So let's, let's just glue this down and then we can see what else we can add to it. But these are so simple, you guys. And making them your own, you can, you know, customize the size. And can you believe I haven't even tried making the specimen slides with the die cuts that I bought? <laughs> I just right away decided to try to make my own and see because I didn't want to bother with the acetate. 
<laughs> the plastic in the middle. And so I'm like, ah, oh, let's just see how these come out. And I really like them. So there you have it. I didn't even need to buy them. And I'm sure I didn't need to have to buy a lot of the things that I have. But, you know, sometimes you just want it just to want it. Let's see what we can add to this. These things are upside down. So let's see. I might just add just a little something from, these are just the curator ones. Let me get this and see. How about this? Oops. This one says leaf of fuchsia. I'm noticing that this is not sticking down very well. So let me try this again. I think I didn't get that corner. I'm going to hold it down for just a second. I'm trying to see why it's not gluing down. I'm thinking because it's the plastic. But it'll get, it'll hold it. I just need to hold it down for a second. Okay, so while that dries, we can put this up here. Let me see, should I put like another long strippy thing here? Let me see. I'm sure I have something, some type of, oh, duh, I have these. These are just um, more strips that I got from Timu. I don't like... I don't like the white around it, but I've been cutting them off and they're just stickers. So some of them have like something like this. This might be good. I could cut that down, put that on top. Let me see if there's something else. I don't want to know. I don't know if I want to put like another number. Let's just see. Um. Oh, maybe a date that that's it this is what we're doing so let me cut this down and then we'll ink it up a little bit and then we'll put that on the top that'll be good then we can just add a couple things here and there let me close this put that back So let's ink this. So normally, and we'll do another one, but normally what I'll do is ink all around them, but because this is black, obviously it doesn't need it. So we'll just put this right here on top, trying to make sure if I can center it. This is where my tweezers come in. I want to make sure that I center it. Otherwise, I feel like my fingers get in the way. I think right there. It's a little off, but it's fine. So let's go ahead and put these away. Let's put just a couple little things here. I want something else, just a tiny little one, just to kind of, let's see. I do want it more of a beigey color. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah. So let's ink this just a tiny bit. We'll go ahead and glue. We'll glue everything down now. Put this here. And then 
and add this and I think we're done. There it is. Is that not too cute? I love it. Let's make another one. So again, let's see. Let's make one in the brown, the brown cardstock. So let's get out our little hole punch. Okay, so this is gonna be the top. And then to the other side, just getting it even Steven on the side. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Again, I'm just lining it up with the end of my hole punch. And then do this. Lining it up, getting a half a circle. And there you go. And then we're gonna get our crocodile. I my mind went blank for a second. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just lining it up with the end of this. And so I'm putting the paper right at the end. And then I'm gonna turn it around and get the same. And then I'm gonna do, again, this side. And then turning it around, lining it up, and there you go. So for this one, let's do Mm, let's do black. These little things are so tiny, I feel like I can't even grab them good. So I have to get my tweezers out. Now, if you don't want to use too many of your um, eyelids, you can do two. I did two on the first one, and it still looks fine. See, I just did two on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'll try to list um, the supplies that I'm using. I try to always do that in my craft with me videos. So if anybody is looking for anything that I have, then um, you can check the description box and I try to keep all of the supply lists there. Okay, so it's going this way. So there's that. Now we're going to look for a picture. I already see one. I like the browns in this one. So let's cut him out. And I probably will have to cut off his name. Is that his name? Is it Jason? I think it's Jason. And before I start cutting it down, I need to put the sticker film first, just so that we have an idea. Yeah, I like this one. I think I'm going to cut it right at that line. <clears throat> and then we'll cut it again. Okay. So let's do this one. I'm going to try to line this up at the top. Concentration. Okay, and then we're going to try to make it as 
wide as possible. Let me see. This is not sticking down right. There. Okay. Nope. It's not even. I'm not going to worry about it. Can you see it's not even? But whatever. We're going to put this down like this. Because if I try to do it under, again, it's not, it's not going to come out right. But it's fine. We're just going to leave it. Let me cut this down. They say that that's the best thing about handmade things, right? <laughs> Are the imperfections. So, where did I see? I saw, I saw something that said, I'm imperfectly perfect. There you have it. That's your quote of the day. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm trying to cover. <laughs> I'm trying to cover, give excuses for my mistakes. It's fine. But yeah, I really like the browns in that, right? And then I like how it kind of, that whole, um, like ombre effect so we'll put him right in the center let me see if I can get this glued down right making sure that I know which position this is supposed to be in okay very good Okay, let's hold this down for a second just to make sure that it gets really well. Just cleaning up the edges. I feel like because it's plastic underneath and it's not porous, it's having a little bit more of a hard time to stick. So, but this one we can go ahead and distress and, which I probably should have done before, but it's never too late. So we'll go ahead and distress all around, making sure you get into all of the little grooves. I'm trying not to hang on too much to his picture because I don't want it to move around. there's that now let's see we could put a black label on the bottom I just like the way the labels look on the bottom so let's do black oh I have this one that one's good let's do that let's ink it up and then I think I am going to add just ink all in the middle, just to kind of grunge it up a little bit. Okay, so let's stamp something in the middle of this. So let's see what else. I do have this one. So let's do that. So we'll add the number, pushing down really well because I want to make sure that that number is nice and dark, which it is, perfect. Now we'll go ahead and glue this down. Put that here. Okay. 
And then we can add something to the top. So let's see. We could put maybe corresponding order at the top. So let's add that. I'm trying to center it. Okay, and then what else? Should we add the word filed on the side somewhere? I wonder if it'll fit, maybe on this side. Let's see if it'll fit here. Ooh, perfect. And let's see, anything else? I think that might be it. I could grab my eccentric and see if there's something on here that I can add. Maybe like a little tiny something. How about the little stars? We can add the stars to this. We'll just add those here. Ooh, cute. Okay, so now we need to, let's put this back before I lose it. I think we're done with the stamping. I don't want to stamp too much because I do want to still decorate it just a tiny bit more. So let's get this out and see. No, too big. How about like the color of this one we can add that and maybe this on the bottom over here maybe this one better we'll add this one here yeah so let's just ink this a little bit And this one. And just glue these down. And I think we're going to be done with this one. this up here kind of like the way that I'm gonna have to cover it I like the way that looked it looked like very wrinkled at the top but it's okay there you have it see how fast should we make one more let's do something with uh, let's see. I haven't done the beige yet, so let's try the beige. We have time, so let's do it. These are so easy. I absolutely love them. You guys are going to definitely want to get give this a try. And it's going to be addicting, and you'll end up making so many. So again, I'm just measuring the bottom, lining it up with my hole punch on the sides. And then doing the same thing with your crocodile, turning it around so I could get the same corner in the same position. And then doing the same thing here and here. OK, 
okay now before we do all of that we're going to go ahead and ink it up Perfect. Okay. So with this, let's do gold. Put these in. And then just do all four corners, then we can start decorating it. That's it. And these would be super fun to add to practically any type of little project. Add them into a little tuck spot. Super simple. Let's do this one. Should we do this or should we do something? Actually, I like the way that looks. Let's try it. Let's see how much I want to cut. Let's do here. And then we'll do this side. So let's do this one first. And get this down. trying to see if I can get it to where it doesn't look like if it's crooked. <laughs> so let's try to do it this way. Well, it's a little off to the side. But again, it's okay. So let's do this down here. Okay, that looks really cool, doesn't it? Okay, let's see which little picture we want to use. This little girl is cute. She might be fun. Let's do her. These things are so thick that you don't even know if you're using one or two. Okay, let's put these back and see how much I need to cut down. I'm going to see if I can just trim off the top part where her hat is and then I might have to trim off maybe up to her elbow. Let's see. See if that's good enough. Perfect, perfect. I didn't have to cut too much off of her. So let's round this. And then go around with the ink, taking off the white. And then we can put that. Let's glue this down. Okay. 
cute. Now, let's see what we can put. I need either, I can put maybe a little number strip or something. Let's see. Example, P.O. Box figure. can put that or we could put a date I feel like that's too many colors let's see what else I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I want to use Otherwise, I could probably, oh, this one has a date. That's cute. We can put that here, that on the bottom. Or should we, let me see. Let's just do that. Let's just put the date on the bottom and then we can do some stamping around it. So we'll put this here. Put that right in the center. Okay. And then we can stamp something on the top. So let's see what we could stamp. Let's see these. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what I could put. Um, ticket. Reserved. Maybe reserved can go there. And then what's here? I wonder if this identification check will fit. No. It'll be right in between. I don't know. It'll be right in between the eyelets, so I don't know if that's going to fit. Name of remitter. But I feel like we have a pretty good space there, so we can put something bigger. So let's go back to this one and put... Should we just put perfection? That's cute. And then instead of reserved, I can put some type of serial number. And we'll just put the stars on that one too. We'll do that. So let's get these. Put perfection right on the top. Cute. Put the serial number off to the side here. And we'll put these stars right here. Okay, that's it. We're done.
Are these not the cutest things? Come on. These are so cute. So let's go back. We made three. This is how easy they are to make. And then plus all of these. So tell me which one's your favorite. So we have the black that we just made. The beige. The brown. The map. The green. The blue. And the gray. We didn't put little ones. I'm just noticing. We didn't put little things around her. Let's put this maybe here and like this orange one. Let's just do that. I'm barely noticing. We didn't finish it. I was getting ahead of myself. Oops. And then I put this. I like the orange on this one because I feel like it matches really well. And this color, this side is a little dull, so it does need some type of color there. So let's put this down. I'll we'll glue this right here in the corner. Put that off to the side, maybe here. And then we'll grab this and put this off to the side on the bottom. Right there. And that's it. Okay, guys. That's all of them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys give it a try. Thanks so much to everyone who has been reaching out to me. I've been getting some emails with pictures. So excited. I love looking at all of your guys' makes with, um, you know, inspiration from my videos. It's amazing. And um, that's it. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.